Hola a todos. Hola, Leute. We are Claudia and Jan, an international couple based here in Zurich. And in today's video, we thought about bringing you something different. In today's video, we are going to show you what kind of house or apartment can you get here in Zurich by paying 2,500 francs per month. So if you are interested in this kind of content, please give us a like, subscribe to our channel if you are new. And of course, we are looking for more people that actually want to showcase their flats or houses here in Zurich. So if you are interested, please let us know down below in the comments or write us a private message in our Instagram account. And this said, let's go. Let's go. So I moved here nearly three years ago in February. Mm -hmm. uh, it's two and a half rooms. It has two bathrooms. It has a separate bedroom and then the living space and the kitchen, which we're in now. Nice. And how did you find this apartment? So I went on Flatfox and the person who was previously living here was looking for a new tenant as he was looking to leave early. And I viewed the apartment, I applied and luckily I got it. So we are here in the entrance of the apartment. How did you decide to like structure this display? Honestly, a lot of this came as it was. So. I took a lot of the furniture with the apartment from the previous tenant. And so a lot of what you see here was already here. So I didn't think too much, to be honest. And I see that you have here a ping pong table. It's true. Yeah. And <laughs> more of a showpiece. Like a ping pong table or a beer pong table, depending on the day of the week. And these very special art pieces, from where did you get them? So these were made by a digital artist based in the UK and I wanted something that was bright, colourful. I love animals and so when I saw his artwork, I asked him to make something that was kind of bright, vibrant and this was based off a previous piece that he'd done and so this is the result of that. I'm a British guy but at the same time of Indian heritage and I wanted something that showed that kind so in one hand there's my dad on the left hand side there's my mom on the right hand side mm -hmm. and there's a bit of zurich in the middle you might recognize yeah. the sites of zurich in there exactly so this again these were done by another artist back in the uk and i let them kind of freestyle do what they want and wow. this is what came out and I'm, I'm happy and this makes me smile kind of seeing these on a daily basis a place like this, how much can it cost per month? So this apartment now costs 2,450. And mm -hmm. like many others, the rent went up a few months ago and before it was approximately 2,300. Mm -hmm. And how are you feeling about these rising prices? It's something that was going to happen. I'd lived in the apartment for nearly three years mm -hmm. and there was no rise up to this point. So with everything going on, I expected at some point it would go up. So. I'm okay with it. I'm happy. Well, I'm not happy about my place, of course not. But at the same time, I'm happy to be here and not have to move to another apartment. Now we are here in the living room and kitchen area. And I see that you really have like this Scandi vibe that I really like. So if you could tell us. Yeah, a lot of Scandi vibes come from the IKEA furniture that I inherited from the previous tenants. And then a few other bits that you see around have come that I've bought after. So chairs, for example, so less IKEA, something <laughs> else in some way to add a different vibe. But yeah, a lot of IKEA, a lot of Scandi. And yeah, try not to fill it with too much stuff. And do you like to cook or like? I do. I do like to cook. However, probably not cooking as much as I want to. And the mm. last thing I prefer, I do like eating out at the same time. So the kitchen remains quite clean. Um, so I do, <laughs> I do love to cook and especially having friends over. I love doing that. It make, gives me an opportunity to try different things to cook and just spend time with friends, which I, I love doing. And after the kitchen, we come to the work area. Are you a person that works a lot from home or? So we have flexible working where I work and I'm allowed to work from home three days a week. So normally, Wednesday to Friday, I'm working from this space over here and the remaining days into the office. VJ, now we are in the living room area. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Sure. Uh, I've got two uh, silly pieces, a bit of fun, which yeah. in the background when I'm working on video calls, it just makes, makes people laugh, or at least <laughs> it makes me laugh. And what about that lamp? 
So that lamp was from India. So I was in Goa earlier this year. And when I travel, I like to pick up pieces of art. And actually, ironically, this piece of art was made by a Swiss artist who lives in Goa. So I went all the way to India and it ended up with a I think piece that I really like about your apartment way. is how many windows you have and how big they are. Yeah, for me, that's that was one of the selling points when I viewed the apartment was that light. Although actually when I viewed it, all the blinds were closed and I couldn't see outside. So when I moved in, I suppose it was a pleasant surprise to have this view and all the light that came with it, have this view and all the light that came with it. So it's a beautiful, beautiful view. We are now in your bedroom. How did you decorate it? <laughs> Very minimalistic. So I only use this room for sleeping in the evenings. And so as you can see, there's probably yeah, little thought that's gone into the decoration of this room. Wow, but you still have very beautiful windows, I have to say. Yeah, it's not a bad view to wake up and look over the mountains and see Utleberg when I wake up. That's, yeah, that that's priceless. In here, I have a bath, which I think I've used probably three times in three years. It sits there, it's more of a showpiece, it's completely clean, but yeah. Wow, I mean, it looks completely new, like nobody has been here. No one's ever used it, the bathroom. Wow. In why do you prefer to use the other bathroom over I this I prefer bathroom? the other one because there's a big shower in the other one. Mm. But this is already very big. It is. So, yeah. <laughs> and this is the second bathroom. So this is the second bathroom or the, the first bathroom in, in my case. So this is the bathroom that I prefer using uh, because of the big shower that I have here. The first thing I realized when entering into this bathroom is that you are so lucky to have like washing machine and dryer in your own apartment. That's you know, not I think very that's, common. Yeah, it could be a luxury and it's it's convenient, especially working from home. I can put the washing on and don't have to worry about doing it in the evenings or the weekends. I can just do it conveniently during the week. BJ, how would you describe your style, like your design style? <laughs> uh, I would say I don't really have style. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just taking pieces or acquired bits from other places and just try and put them together. But I've got a lot to learn and to try and make it feel yeah, a bit more stylish. And a word that has also come along the video was minimalism. <laughs> so what's your relation with minimalism? Uh, I say minimalism only because I don't want to acquire too many things in case one day I have to move. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's maybe the, the reason why I say I moved here and I didn't bring anything with me. I moved with one suitcase and that was it. And so say more for the day, if I have to move, I don't want to have to move too many things. Right. And in what area are we right now? So, and what do you like the most about it? Sure, so we're in Alstetten or Albisteden. Um, for me, I have this space, there's this greenery, but at the same time, Zurich being very small, I can get into the city very quickly. And the train station's just over there. So if when I need to go to the office, I can get to the train station in five minutes and then I take a train directly to the office. So for me, it's location. I have everything I need right here. Nice. And would you recommend any cafe or restaurant? A cafe, which is not too far from here, at Hubertus, Cafe Hubertus. Um, that's a, yeah, that's a cafe I recommend as well. And last question, if you had the opportunity to move again, would you choose again this uh, Christ or would yeah. you choose another area? No, I, I'm, I'm very happy here. Um, yeah, if, if I had a magic wand and didn't have to search, then maybe, maybe I would live in the old town. Go to the old town, be right in the city, have a bit of a different atmosphere, a different vibe. But otherwise, yeah, only if the apartment was available and I didn't have to go through the application and everything that people <laughs> have to do. Well, thank you very much, B.J., for showing us your apartment. It was great. Yeah, you're welcome. It was so nice to see the apartment of B.J. It was a really cool experience. And I think we should actually do more videos like this for you guys, because at least when we were planning to move here, I could not really find this kind of content on YouTube. And no. I don't know, I really like it. So let us know down below in the comments if you also enjoy this kind of videos. And actually also, if you want to show us your apartment or house here in Zurich, let us know down below in the comments or just write us a private message in our Instagram account. And this said, see you next week. See you next week. <laughs>